Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. The day has come. Finally, we're going to be talking all about neutral polishes today. So I'm going to attempt to share with you my 10 favorite neutral polishes. However, there's a little bit of bonus here, like I always do. I kind of have like 10 categories, and some of them might have more than one in each category. But I will just like quickly make my way through it. How's that? <clears throat> so, um, yeah, hope you guys are doing really great today. I know this is a pretty highly requested video. But what always happens every year is I get through my colors and then neutral and glitter seem to get left out. But this year, we're not leaving it out. So we're going to talk all about it. Who doesn't love a great neutral? By the way, speaking of something non-neutral, this lippy today I'm obsessed with. This is, um, I think I got this in a, this might have either been a Perk at Sephora or maybe it came in a birch box. I can't remember, but this is NARS Cruella. Why did this come in? I don't think it was in birch box. Anyway, this is a velvet matte lip pencil and it is so easy to put on. It's like, it's so comfortable to wear and the color is just amazing. Now, this is the, my only NARS product I own because NARS is super duper expensive, but I can see why peeps be paying the money for this product because it is wonderful. So anyway, that's what's on my lips in case you're wondering. NARS matte or velvet matte lip pencil in Cruella. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with some great basics. So everybody needs a really great white, white, and black, black, right? Something that is your ride or die, something that you put it on and it doesn't fail you ever, and it's great, pretty much one coaters. I've mentioned these lots of times because they're also great for nail art. Um, this is Pretty Syrian's Presence and Absence. So Presence is the white and Absence is the black. I totally swear by these. There may, you, you know, there's lots of great black and white polishes out there but honestly after all the looking that I've done these are my favorites they have a great price point they're indie and um, <clears throat> yeah one coater so what else are you gonna want out there um, I definitely recommend these to you especially if you do any kind of nail art alright so we're gonna move on now and like I said I do have categories so I have like my favorite silver my favorite color that's just like almost practically like a skin color polish. I have deep brown, shimmers, hollows, um, lots of stuff like that. So we're going to just kind of move through it. I'm going to give you bottle shots of some of the stuff and then pictures of everything that I mentioned so that you know what I'm talking about. Now silver, I'm not like so crazy about silver polish. Honestly, one silver is kind of just like another to me. I think that I do prefer um, like the metallic silver um, that where you can actually see like particles a little bit more than like the liquid metal kind of silver That's totally personal preference. I'm actually just going to show you a picture real quick of a silver that I like which is Sally Hansen Celeb City and I actually don't even have it in front of me um, But this is my swatch of it. Um, I couldn't find it for this video But honestly like a lot of silvers are the same to me So I don't really have a favorite favorite So I'm just going to kind of give that an honorable mention and we're going to move along All right, another polish that just kind of gets an honorable mention for me when I put it alongside all the rest of these polishes I don't necessarily pick it out as my favorite or like one of the favorites, but this was interesting for me because this matched my skin tone so well this year, so that was a fun find for me. This came from the Zoya Satin, um, like these natural um, polishes, and this is the one called Brittany. So I'm just going to pop a picture of that really quick. All right, so we're going to move along into some things that I did really love. So um, we're going to go deep brown. So two polishes that I'm going to go ahead and show you in the deep, deep brown category that were loves for me this year. So one comes from OPI, and that is How Great Is Your Dane. If you've been following with me on Swatch Fest, you will know that I just barely discovered how gorgeous this was. I had it, um, wait, did I have it with me for a while? I think maybe I just recently picked it up on Marshalls. I didn't own the whole um, Nordic collection from last year. And so I've just pick, been picking it up piecemeal, and this is such a great deep chocolate, great formula. You guys probably are already all aware, but I really, really love this. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show it to you real quick. Okay, so then the other polish that falls into that category that I really, really love, this is Simple Colors Nirvana, and it says on the bottle that it's a matte polish. I don't necessarily notice it being super duper matte. If you don't like that matte look at all, you could most certainly just top coat this. This is a great um, drugstore price, and 
very, very close in hue. It's a little bit lighter than the OPI, but just a great dark brown and super easy to work with. So that's a lot of times why things make it into my, <laughs> into my tops too, is if they're easy to work with. All right, we're gonna move along to some shimmery things. We're gonna talk about some shimmering taupes. I have two that I really love. Um, neither of them came out this last year. Well, maybe one, Anyway, let's just get along with it. One of them's from China Glaze and one of them's from Simple Shine. Now you may already be able to guess the Simple Shine one is called Prosecco. Um, this was recently like re-released in a new um, Simple Shine display that is still out. I see it at my Walgreens and my CVS, so you can go snap this if you want to. Snap it, not like Snapchat it. You can go snap it up. Um, it's just a great taupe with some gorgeous gold shimmer. So, um, yep. I really enjoy this one. You do need two to three coats on this one, so it's not just like a one coat wonder or anything, but it is really pretty. All right, and then the other option is very, very similar to Prosecco, and I don't know if a lot of people know about this polish. Well, you probably do if you're as crazy about nail polish as I am, which you probably are. Um, but these are very similar. The only difference is that the China Glaze one is more um, brown or tan hued, and then this one is more like a gray beige, the Prosecco. But they're very similar in the idea, so if you can't get your hands on Prosecco, um, this is China Glaze Fast Track. It's a bit older, it's a few years old, but you can always pick up old China Glazes on Head to Toe Beauty, on Trans Design, stuff like that. So this is the same kind of idea. So a nice um, neutral with that awesome gold shimmer in it. All right, the next category that I wanna mention that I was in love with this year is the Silver Holographic, and I'm actually not even going to refer to a specific holographic collection. These actually both came out. Um, one was from Orly this year, and one was from L'Oreal. And of course, I'm talking about Ori, Orly Mirrorball and L'Oreal Mask Affair, and I actually don't have either of them in front of me because I gave them away. Um, I sometimes tend to give away the polishes that I really, really like myself. Um, so I love them, and I have pictures of myself wearing them, which I'm going to show you right here. Um, and they're gorgeous, so if you can get your hands on them, I highly recommend it. But yeah... I already re-gifted them, so um, I can't actually even remember who I gave them to, but it doesn't really matter. Um, <laughs> they're great. Okay, so right alongside Mirrorball and um, Masked Affair, I have another holographic for you that I just recently found, and this is from Virago Varnish, and it's called Abstain from Champagne. And I found this more recently than those two silver ones, but this is kind of, this is like a champagne version of the silver. So if you don't wanna wear silver, this one is amazing. <laughs> this is so gorgeous. This was actually my favorite out of that whole collection, the holiday one, even though the rest of them are all really nice too. But this one is loud and beautiful on the nail and I loved it. So um, shout out to some holographic that's not just straight up silver. Alright, so some more kind of um, kind of in this thread where they were like these taupey with shimmers, but we're going to talk about some um, taupes and browns with hollow in them this time. So the first one I want to talk about is OPI. This is not really new, and I think that this one does have some discrepancy in formula, per, bottle to bottle. Like some of them are have more hollow in them or something, but my bottle... You can definitely see the hollow pieces, um, scattered holographic going all through it. This is my Private Jet by OPI. Just an absolutely gorgeous, deep, deep brown, kind of similar to the one I already showed you, but it has all this hollow running through it. So I love it. I'm going to go ahead and show it to you now. All right, and the other one that's in that same category, this is definitely a lighter brown. This is kind of like a taupey brown. And this is from 9-0, and this is S'more Hollow. So it's very similar to Prosecco in color, as you can see. But one has gold shimmer in it, and then S'more Hollow has holographic in it. So I thought that this was a great polish, and um, definitely it's not like super, super loud. It's just very calming and chic, and then you're just like, oh, peekaboo, I have a little bit of hollow. 
Okay, I have two more cream browns that I want to talk about. We did the dark browns, and I'm going to do a medium brown and a lighter brown. So my favorite medium brown this year was Essie Fierce No Fear. This has a great formula. It's delicious on the nails, just like a light milk chocolate. I thought this was great. So this one definitely made it in the tops for me this year. And then the lighter, this is kind of like a tan brown, so we're not quite getting to beige, but it's like right before beige. So this is OCC in the shade John Doe. Um, this is definitely like a warmer color, um, warmer on the brown side. So yeah, I really like this one too, and another great formula. Okay, so we have three categories left. We have beige, we have gray, and then we have grayish, which as you know, is a marriage of the gray and the beige polishes. So what should we start with first? I think. Let's start with the beiges. So I have, let's see, one, two, three, four creamy beige polishes that I thought were really great this year. I'm just gonna quickly go through them so that you can see them, um, but let's go ahead and get started. So first off, really nice and cost-effective polish. This is Pure Ice Shorebet. It's so it's not like it's not like Sherbet, but it's Shorebet. And so I love that this is only two dollars. It has such a great formula, such a nice chic color. Just really gorgeous on the nail, so I'm gonna show you that real quick. Another one that I really love, this is from Julep. Uh, my bottle's a little bit older, so it's separating quite a bit, and you can see all the um, pink in there actually but this is Julep Debra and I just think it has a really great formula definitely not as cost-effective probably the most expensive thing I'm showing you all day today um, but I do think it's pretty so just a reminder if you happen to have this in your collection this one is really nice but I am showing you four in this category so there are definitely more cost-effective options for you you don't have to run out and get this one so um, I'm just gonna show you a picture of it real quick right here so that's Julep Debra and yeah let's move along so the next one I want to talk about is another really cost effective option, but this one's a little bit more difficult to find, I guess, because it came out in a specific display from Simple Colors. This is Beige of Honor. Just um, very, very similar to Shorebet, very similar to all the ones I'm showing you in this category, but it has a great formula and it's from Simple Colors, so they do such a great job in my opinion. This one gets a great mark from me. All right, so the fourth one in this category, this is OPI My Vampire is Buff. Everyone knows and loves this polish. Actually, in my opinion, the three that I just showed you previous to this polish actually have a slightly better formula than this one, but this is still really good, and if you are an OPI collector um, and you just specifically wanted to pick up something in this category from OPI, well, this is a really, really good one. Okay, so on our way to gray polish, let's stop at the grayish polish. So these are the ones that are right in between gray and beige. I actually could have probably just pushed these over into the um, the beige line because I feel like they are more beige than gray. But hey, I wanted to include a lot of polishes, so gotta make room. All right, so the first one, this one has another amazing formula from Essie this year. This is Take It Outside. Ah, oh, it's just so nice. It's just a taupey, beigey, gray color. And it's really great at even just one coat. So, yep, loved this one. Alright, last one in this um, color family. This is... China Glaze, What's She Doing? As you can see, it's pretty similar to a lot of the ones that I've been showing you. It has a great formula. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it now. All right, so we're gonna move fully into the gray category. So. Um, actually, I have three great grays, all in kind of different, um, you know, with different influences in them. Like, one's a little bit more blue, one's a little bit more brown, one's a little bit more purple. Let's start off with this absolutely gorgeous one from Simple Colors, though. This is Simple Colors Mauve. 
I love talking about this polish whenever I can because it's called Mauve and it's a great polish. It's definitely a purple tinted polish. Um, still though, I'm not sure why they called it Mauve. But if you can get your hands on this, I absolutely love it. Great for the price. So let's first take a look at this cost effective one. Alright, so we're going to move on to the three grays from China Glaze, and the, not that these aren't cost effective, because you can pick them up pretty pretty inexpensive, it's like $3.50 on head to toe or Terrence Design, um, but let's go ahead and take a look at them. Two of them are from the Giver Collection, and one came out this fall. So the one from this fall is, as you can see, we have like a purpley one, a brown one, and then a gray, like a almost greeny one. Um, so anyway, this middle one, this is called Change Your Altitude. This is from the Fall 2015 collection. Fabulous formula, just a great like right down the line light gray for me. So I love this one. All right, so the two other polishes, the two other grays from China Glaze that I want to talk to you about are both from the Giver Collection. One is Intelligence, Integrity, and Courage, and that's this one here that's slightly like bluish or greenish. And then the other one is the purpley one on the bottom, and that's Release, and that's what I've been wearing on my nails throughout this video. They're both great. They both have an incredible formula. That whole collection, if you're really into neutrals, you need that whole collection because it was amazing. It was really actually hard just not showcasing that entire collection in this video. All right, so we're gonna finish up with Dark Dark Gray. So I'm gonna um, go with a Simple Colors polish. I love this one. This is out of all my dark grays in my collection. This is my favorite one. This is called Ardois has a great formula. I'm not sure how easy this is to find, but if you spot it, grab it. I love this one, so let's take a look. Alright guys, so that was the whole thing. How many polishes did I talk about? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 23 polishes. Okay, that was even more than I allowed myself to include in the purples, I think. But this is a pretty wide range here, this whole neutrals area. So I really wanted to give you something that, you know, fit into each little pocket of the neutral family. I hope that you found lots of things that you liked here today. Um, Thanks for coming to hang out with me today. Thanks you guys for all your love and support. Always let me know in the comments what kind of videos you wanna see next. I am planning on doing my favorite glitters of this year and then my favorite, I said I'm just gonna to stick to 10, my favorite 10 polishes that came out this year. So hope you're having a great day. I will talk to you next time and take care until then. Bye guys.